Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. I actually got a lot of requests to cover this scenario from a bunch of different people over a number of communications channels. It's a pretty interesting question, so let's take a look. Amy uses Rakdos Charm to make all creatures deal damage to their controllers, while she controls Obnixilus Captive Kingpin, and Nick controls 5-1-1 creatures. How many times does Obnixilus trigger? Okay, so I'm going to introduce a very important principle that makes it pretty straightforward to answer questions like this. Separate actions in magic are represented by separate clauses. So if you see multiple verbs, then the instructions are going to be performed in a sequence, whereas if you see only one verb, it's generally going to mean that all the action is happening simultaneously, even if multiple objects are involved. The exception is if the card specifically says otherwise, or if it's actually impossible to do all the actions simultaneously, such as putting multiple spells onto the stack at the same time. I talked about how that would work in a video that I did a few months ago, and I encourage you to check that out if you're interested. For now, let's just apply that principle that we talked about to the situation described in the original problem statement. We can see that the relevant mode of Rakdos Charm uses only one verb, so that means that all of the damage is going to be dealt at the same time, as part of the same game event. This means that Obnixilus will not see five instances of Nick taking one damage, but one instance of him taking five. Accordingly, Obnixilus' ability will not trigger at all in that case. The same logic holds if Amy was attacking Nick with five one ones. Barring first strike or double strike, combat damage also happens all at the same time, which means that Nick isn't going to lose exactly one life at all. He's going to be losing exactly five. The answer to this question would be different if we were talking about Gerson Starn, because its ability triggers when a source deals damage, so multiple distinct sources dealing damage all at the same time would cause multiple triggers. Note that it has to be a source that you control, which means it doesn't go super well with Rakto's Charm, but at least it does work the way you would hope when you're attacking with one ones. Another thing that people can often get confused about is effects that are worded sort of like Lotleth Troll here. From a grammatical standpoint, it's not really clear whether this templating means that you should count up how many creature cards are in your graveyard and deal that much damage all at once, or deal one damage that many times. Since we only see one instance of the word deal, we can tell that the former is the appropriate interpretation, and that this templating will only cause Obnixilus to trigger if you have exactly one creature card in your graveyard. Okay, so what would it take to get Obnixilus to trigger more than once? Well, one idea would be to use something like this Grape Shot here. Although colloquially people usually say that Grape Shot deals a lot of damage, we know that what's actually happening is that the Grape Shot has Storm, which copies the spell a lot of times. Since we have multiple discrete events where each of the Grape Shots is dealing one damage individually, this does indeed match the trigger condition on Obnixilus, because it's going to be dealing one damage that many times. Another thing to look for is the phrase, repeat this process, which specifically indicates that the actions involved in the process happen multiple times in a sequence. For example, Mana Clash defines a process where two players each flip a coin, and then Mana Clash deals one damage to each player whose coin was tails. Since we're performing this process multiple times, each flip's worth of damage happens separately, and Obnixilus will see the opponent losing one life the appropriate number of times, even though all of the damage happens during the resolution of the same spell. Note that in a multiplayer game, if two of the Obnixilus player's opponents are involved in a mana clash, then they will each take one damage at the same time in the event where they deal damage, and that means that there's only going to be one resultant trigger from Obnixilus, not one for each of them. Okay, so ready to test your understanding with a few challenge questions? Okay, first up here is Demon Lord Balzanlock. This one is a little bit tricky because it says repeat this process, but the part where it deals damage is not actually part of the process. Rather, Nick will put some cards into his hand, and then count up the total number of cards that he put into his hand, and take that much damage. Amy's Obnixilus won't trigger once for each card, it will only trigger if he takes exactly one of them. Next we have another really interesting one, Plague of Vermin. So we can see that in this case, the part of the process definitely does include something where a player is losing life. Note however that it says that you can pay any amount of life, so an opponent could just deny you any triggers at all by paying two life each time. Okay, but let's say that Amy's opponent does pay one life though. That means that they will have lost one life, causing Obnixilus to trigger. If multiple rounds of life paying occur, it's possible for that to cause multiple Obnixilus triggers. Now for a little bit of an advanced note. What happens if we're playing a multiplayer game and multiple opponents choose to pay one life in the same round? So if you're familiar with the rules, then you might have thought of this one here, which seems to imply that the official process that Plague of Vermin is repeating would be for each player to decide how much life they want to pay, and then all those players losing the appropriate amount of life simultaneously. However, this is a red herring. The phrase starting with you in the card indicates that the appropriate process would be for each player in a sequence to be presented with the opportunity to pay life. 
This difference in templating is also the same reason why Show and Tell puts permanents onto the battlefield simultaneously, whereas Hypergenesis puts them into play sequentially. Because the players pay life one at a time, then that means that if multiple opponents pay one life during this same orbit, then it would cause that many triggers for Obnixilis. And that would be about it. Phew, that was a lot of rulings. If you think I missed any, leave a comment and I'll do my best to get to all of them. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.